Good evening, everybody. It's Patsy from Patsy's Crochet. I'm sorry if you can hear my air conditioner. I'll try to speak a little bit louder. Maybe I'll just, no. just have to put up the noise. Okay, I'm going to do a, a yarn and hook review on the new Durable. From Pamela Savoy at stitchnaturally.com. It's a lightweight number three. It's, I can't say that name. It's 58, I'll say 58 cotton, 42 poly, poly acrylic. It's a DK weight, 50 grams. And it says, it's, the color honey and let's see where does it say what size needle now a size four to four five uh four millimeter to a four point five millimeter or us six to seven so this is beautiful soft and it's called honey so we're going to use a number 5.5 crochet hook to begin with i know it's big but we're going to try so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12. Then we're going to do a double crochet into the second chain from hook. It's nice and soft. I'm going to read that pattern for the kites that came with this, and I want to do that pattern. So, there we go. That was a 5.5. And it does stretch, so that's good. Usually lean way. And now I'm going to use a four, I mean a five millimeter. It's nice and soft. It's going through really good, no splitting. So that is awesome. Okay. So that is a five. So we did a 550 or 5.5 and a 5.0. And it does do the stretching. You can do it. You don't do the blanket. You know, you can always use this yarn for um, a wrap or. Okay, now we're going to use the Susan Bates 4.5. So 
sorry, I have to grab some yarn. I'm just going to decide so I can just easily wrap it back up. Beautiful. To me, I'll probably be using a smaller cook size when I do the blanket. Hope you've seen that. <laughs> I don't know if I was out of the picture or not. Okay, so we got a 5.5, 5, a 5, and a 4.5, and it still looks good. Now, this right now, here's a small one, it's a 350, a 3.5. And this is a knit of pride and crochet hook. It's nice. I think even a three would go good with this. But I didn't bring a three with me to the table, so. going right through not a problem so there we, we we use four different kind of crochet hooks we use the boy 5.5 we used um, a 5.0 from Tori Polly's crochet creations that gifted me this lovely gift. And then one of my Susan Bates. And it's a 4.5. And then the last one was a 3.5 from Knitter's Pride. Or Knitter's, Knitter's Pro or Knitter's Pride. So that is the yarn. And it's nice. It's very nice. It'll make a nice garment, blanket. And it does have a little leeway, so that's good. All right, so that's the first one. So let, now let's see what it does when we unravel it. Not bad. Very good. Thanks, Pam. This is awesome. I'm going to enjoy working with these. Cozy Fine. From Durable. Very nice. So any inf if you guys need any information, you just go to um, stitchednaturally.com. You go on her webpage. And you see what is all on her site that she has. She's moving shop into her basement right now. So, and she has ordered some more stuff. But, um, not to worry. There, see? All back in there so when I need to use it for my tights. Very nice. Hmm. And next one, I wasn't sure if I did a hips to cotton with you. So this is, I only needed a little bit more to finish. Now I can start my um, rainbow roller coaster. 
then the wrap will be done. Okay, so we're going to use this one is hipster cotton, um, 229 yards, 100% uh, cotton, 100 grams, and it's called Tropical Dreams. It's a light, lightweight number three. It says use a five millimeter crochet hook or four millimeter um, net needle. Well, we're going to start with five, like we did with the other one. No, 5.5, .5, sorry. And it drapes. I am using right now, I'm using a 4.0 on that wrap that I'm doing. And it drapes. So this number 5.5 .5 will make it drapey. Drapier. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, double crochet into the second chain from hook. I don't want to go out of the picture, so, and I know my air conditioner make a loud noise, so you gotta excuse it. <laughs> okay. So this is a 5.5 boy. And this is a five millimeter. Not a problem. Okay, there you go, that's a five. Oh, I got caught wrong my finger. So this one has a little drape to a lot of it. That's why I said ill drape. It's a very drapey drape. And this is a 4.5. Love the color changes. That's why I decided to do a wrap with all three different colors. Even with the 4.5 uh, millimeter crochet hook that I'm using on that uh, wrap, it is drapey. But if I went even a little smaller, it would have been drapier. Okay. Next one is a 3.5. Okay. 
There you go. Look at the drape. It just drapes. If it feels, it feels heavier, it'll just drape. Beautiful. And this will drape too. I'm thinking to use a smaller hook on this one though. It would probably be a 3.5 or 3. Even though it says to use a 4. I look for it again. Sorry. A 4 or a 4.5. But the kites are small for the blanket, so I'm going to use a small one. So. So this is hipster cotton. It's nice and soft, squishy, and this is too. Nice. And let's see when we pull this out. I only did two yarns today. I know I have to do some cotton, really fine cotton from Ice Yarns. But that'd be another day. Now what I gotta do is roll this back up. So I don't need more of this right now. Oh yeah, and then um, I ordered some stuff off of uh, Pamela Savoy, stitchnaturally.com, and um, beautiful stuff. Got some more. I believe it's either it's cozy or I don't think it's cozy fine, but I think it's cozy. So and then. Two balls of um, nice wheels. <laughs> and then I ordered from Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim had my, uh, I've been looking at their furrow hooks. It's a streamline. They have all the wooden ones there. Um, instead of paying uh, $24.99 for them, I got them for $14.99 each from Mary Maxim. So I got. Um, they didn't have a 350, but I got a 3.75, a 4.0, and a 4.5. Plus, I have my six here. So, just looking for the 3.5 and the three, if they sell them a three. And then I ordered some um, um, sock yarn, but it's from the Merino Wool with nylon, I believe. I want to try some of that this, this winter. If I don't want to, if I don't make socks, I'll make a, another shawl with it or something. Um, and then Aberdeen wool. I bought a surprise box plus the yarn, Tori, that you wanted to try. I found it cheaper, and um, that'd be coming in too. And hopefully, I'll hear from Hobby soon. I have no idea where it is. Um, I checked it so many times. It's still in the same spot. It hasn't moved. So I might have to phone. I might wait till this week. If I don't hear nothing, then I got a phone can a post to find out if it's in their system yet. Um, well, tonight I'm just going to sit and do some more of my shawl, or not shawl, the wrap, um, on the roller skate. Or, Rainbow roller skate now. So just two skeins of that and then it's done. Um, what else? I want to do um, that tutorial. Plus I want to do a couple of uh, face cloth tutorials. Um, I found in my book a couple of new ones. So I want to try that at Wolf View. But lately I've been really tired lately. I don't know what it is. Just feel like relaxing and sleeping and <laughs> and my knee is not doing that good either so I'm still up on the couch doing the best I can I do walk but after I walk a while it really hurts so I can't the doctor told me I have to sit on the couch so that's what I've been doing all right well thank you so much for watching this yarn and hook review and I hope you guys please check out naturally stitched or sorry stitch naturally Dot com with Pamela Savoy. You really like her stuff that she has. I really do believe that you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good night. Stay safe. God, I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.